really great to participate in Student Research Day, and I think one of the biggest bonuses about it is just being able to walk around and even have the abstract book and just read about a lot of the different projects that other students are doing. It's a big learning process, especially working, because like, we've never done anything like this before, and we're actually looking to get our, our stuff published. This is all new to me. Like I said, I'm a psych major, and when I left high school, I thought I was done with science. But now that I can relate it back to psychology, it's very interesting to me, and I hope to continue to do that. So I got to do the fun part, which is go in and play the game with the kids. Uh, it's for trying to, it's creating a discussion for kids with hemophilia to um, make good life decisions. So, um, you know, maybe rock climbing is okay for their friends to do, but not so much for them. It could be a little bit dangerous. So, why certain activities are okay and others aren't? Um, I guess I got kind of a, a better understanding of research um, and how fun it can be because, you know, that frame of mind that it's just boring reading articles all day. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. We're presenting an iPad app that we're making as part of our third year programming course. Through the last few years we've been learning a lot of different concepts and things for uh, building applications and programming. So we're applying a lot of a lot of those practices and things we've been learning to actually make an uh, application for the iPad. We designed, modeled the whole thing and um, from there we started programming and designing the actual interface. Programming skills in general are all over it, right? So um, either it's making an application for an iPad, a computer game, or um, any sort of computer system. Um, so we went down to Peru and we did a research study based on community development needs. Um, and so our specific research question was um, how does the community support the um, Aboriginal needs of women in um, communities dealing with maternal health, basically reproductive health and family planning needs. Um, Peru has the second highest maternal mortality rate in the Americas and as, a, as an effort to kind of uh, do better, they have adopted um, uh, traditional birthing uh, techniques and uh, traditions. The actual research itself surprised me and surprised us, I think. It, for us, it was um, our misconceptions led us to believe we can kind of convince ourselves of what our findings would be. And then, of course, we ended up completely proving ourselves wrong, which was really great. Yeah, it, yeah. it's just an amazing learning experience. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was a really good experience for me to take a part in this awesome physical education department with the most amazing uh, teacher that I have, that I've ever had. For me, I thought it was a really fantastic opportunity. I'm a first year student here at Mount Royal, so this was an amazing experience. Um, it's something I never thought I'd be able to get into, uh, especially being a nursing student. I never really thought research, especially this kind of research, would be an option, so I thought that was awesome. So Mount Royal is really unique, I think, in that those opportunities are here for the undergrad student. I think that's fabulous. The one thing that was lacking when I first came here four years ago is the research side. So I think that adding that component is really important and uh, it would make us um, more able to compete with other universities, I think. <laughs>